This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. We've got a warning this morning from Arizona Game and Fish officials after a string of mountain lion sightings in the Saddlebrook area. There have been three reported spottings in eight days. Game and Fish says annually they can receive as many as 100 calls about mountain lion sightings. They say this lion's behavior is not really menacing, but they do want to get the animal back to its natural habitat. Well, the battle over what will happen with the property around the Benedictine Monastery continues as the city council is scheduled to talk about it at tonight's meeting. Now on your sides, Veronica Costa has more from the monastery with what uh, the plan is so far. Veronica? Well, hey, good morning. It's a battle we've heard about for months now, right? Tonight, the city council, they're set to take on the issue of the proposed developments around the Benedictine Monastery. Now, last month, the planning commission, they met they weren't able to decide on the height of some of those proposed apartment complexes around the monastery. And that's exactly what the city council has to tackle tonight. Now, Steve Kazachik, the council member for Ward 6, says he hopes that neither the developer nor the neighbors backpedal on some of the compromises that they've made so far. He says he just wants both sides to be happy with the outcome. We have more information on this on our website, Kagan9.com. Reporting from Midtown, Veronica Acosta, Kagan9 on your site. Thank you so much, Veronica. Let's head over to April for a look outside. April? Hey, we've dipped down now to 42. We all knew it was coming right into that 7 o'clock hour. As we get closer and closer to it, that's what typically happens, and we're seeing lows low 40s. I still wouldn't be surprised if we don't go down another degree or two before it goes up. 65, enjoy the seasonal highs while they last. We are going to see some 70s returning tomorrow, near 80 now by Thursday and Friday. And yes, that's the winter solstice. 78, warmest day of the week brings on our winter. Uh, low to mid-70s for the weekend and possibly getting back to the 60s just in time for Christmas Eve. Thank you so much, April. For more news and weather updates all throughout the day, you can go to our website, kega9.com, and follow us on social media.